Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And as promised before the break, we have another special guest in the studio. But let's get straight into it. Our studio guest is 27 years of age. He is a consultant and an entrepreneur from Emo State. He was one of the housemates in the lockdown season 5 2020 edition of Africa's biggest reality TV show, Big Brother Niger. One of his greatest greatest achievements is working with UEFA Federation in Europe. It is no surprise then that when he is not busy consulting or managing his urban clothing line, you will find him analyzing sports and watching documentaries and TV shows. He believes in the saying, no boundaries with an ounce of hope. Permit me to welcome to the tea time table, Ozomena Chuku, popularly called Ozo. Nice, thank you. I hope uh, I didn't mother your name, though. No, 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 no you did. Uh, the only part that was wrong was I'm 28. So, I mean, I wish I could uh, push my age mm. backwards, but now I'm 28. Okay, okay. So, wrong information out there. I think the ladies want you to be younger. I think the um, younger girls want you. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. I think 28 for me is perfectly <laughs> fine now. It's perfect. All yeah. right, so you, you heard that for me. He's 28 years of age. And big shout out to him. He doesn't even look 20. He looks 22. Like, I can tell him, yeah, go get me water. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just messing with no, you. It's all man. good. It's I'm all good. With you. All right, so first off, now that you're out of the Big Brother house, what life lesson would you say you walked away with from the show? Or should I say drove away with? Uh, yeah, I like the line we drove away with, <laughs> with, with, with the car. One shout out yeah. to Innocent as well. Mm -hmm. um, listen, um, one thing people forget is when you get on the show, you learn a whole lot there. The mm. show wouldn't just make you a media or just like a social media celebrity or just a celebrity in general. We, all of us on that show, uh, became bartenders at a point. We became actors, we were talent judges, we were talent presenters. We were, um, what else did we do? We were painters, you know? There's mm. so much we did. We did like soldier drills and all those things. So mm -hmm. it helps you dig deep into your soul to find uh, facets and things that are inside you that you probably wouldn't have used if you didn't mm. get on the show. Mm. So being on that show gives you an opportunity to find things that are inside you that you could use to help uh, change your society or help change yourself and develop yourself. Right. So it's a show that develops you as a human being. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important that people think about the show that way as well. All right, so let's focus on um, the sports sector, which is something you have a passion for, yeah. especially in Nigeria. What would you say is wrong with the sports sector in Nigeria? And now that Nigeria is going to be Independence Day in a few days, mm. right? How do you think we can improve that sector? And if given the opportunity, what would you do differently? And what are the things you would put in place? One single word, structure. Mm. Structure, that's the single word I'll use. Now, uh, we know it's a cliche story where you say, could you imagine if you have, if you don't have a good foundation, no matter how hard you try to build a building, it's going to crash, come down falling. Mm. And as long as we don't have, if we don't get the structure right, then things will go down falling. When I did uh, Lacon and I did our mm. Make a Difference campaign with Betway, and when we were doing our write up and reading up, we found out that the last document in 2009 that was meant to use to like help rehab the sports industry. 61% of the sports stakeholders and, and administrators had no Statistics. idea. Statistics. They had That's no idea. Stuff. Yeah, they, they had no idea that this document existed. Mm. So how do you want to revamp an industry or a sector without the administrators and stakeholders having an idea that this thing needs to be done? They mm. had no idea that this document was being done. Mm. So it's all about uh, putting uh, the structure in place. And for me, the foundation has to be based on education. And I've talked about education simply being our youth football, which is the number one sport we have in Nigeria, right. for example. Mm -hmm. And I said, could you imagine if you have people uh, studying a course in football business, football management, or football finance, mm. uh, even football law as well? You have someone that studied mm. these courses, so four years in university, if the person wants to do a master's, it's an extra one year, and the person gets an opportunity to work at the federation level. That means already before you get to that position, you know the tools, the basics, things mm. you need to use to help improve that industry or improve that department where you're working in. Mm. So that means you already have a head start. But currently now, um, we have situations where people like myself or yourself, people that have studied different courses, yeah. could get those positions. Not like they're not doing great jobs, they really are. But then most times they have to learn on the job. So which one would you prefer? Wouldn't you prefer someone who has gotten Definitely. all the education that they have and they have the tools to help push that Definitely. industry forward than Definitely. someone who has to come and try and learn on the job. Oh. So we need to get sports education, re put, lay so much emphasis on sports education 
And we also need to look at talent identification and talent development. The development side of it is, um, we're using football again, is we need to create an academy performance plan that has to filter through the federation level all the way through to all the academies. We need to make sure that we have, if we could have tiers of academies, then we should. For example, in the UK, they have, they are, they have this thing called the Elite Player Performance Plan. That's what they use to train our players. So they have different tiers. They have four tiers Amazing. of the academies. And with the academy performance plan, we should have a f an identified football philosophy. We should have a coaching syllabus. Uh -huh. When we were in school, coaching syllabus, you have, teachers had like syllabus how they teach you things. So can you imagine if they taught you words and the next day they teach you how to say ABC? Amazing. You or wouldn't be able to adapt. This so is, all these this things. Is well taught out. Yeah, so all, this, all, all these things and more are things we need to uh, put, put our heads down to put in place right. as well. Amazing. I can see you have a lot of passion for this, and um, I hope you're able to do your bit, Thank especially you. in that field. But when you leave this world, which we will all leave this world someday, what would be the legacy that you will be proud of that I left behind? Uh, to become the first person to be FIFA. African to be FIFA president. Now, if someone else does it before me, I'll always be happy because at the end of the day, I'm African, you know? And I've always asked myself, why has no African become FIFA president before? Mm. Uh, the only time I've seen an, uh, an African as FIFA president was Issa Hayatou, but it was acting FIFA president when Seb Blatter had his legal issues. So it's, the, it's a goal of mine. But in general, it's, it's about making sure that I make a change. Right. My, my dad will always tell me, you, need to, you shouldn't do things because of how much you get paid but how much you enjoy what you're doing. And that's what my, my passion in life is, to make sure that right. I look back on my life and say I made a change. Enjoy what you love doing. And as we're enjoying what we love doing right now, we will be playing a game with Ozo real quick. And everyone who comes to the stadium knows that there's always a special game. And the mm. game for today is um, you will be defining words for us. And the first word for the day is democracy. Can you define that? Uh, democracy is um, freedom and freedom of speech. Uh, and you need to leave by the people, for the people. So you need to let people have your opinions and, and respect all those opinions as well. That's how I define democracy. Okay. I mean, for the people, for by the people, for the yeah. people. Right? Yeah. All right, all right, yeah. all right. We'll give him half for that. Amazing, mm -hmm. amazing. All right, independence. Independence is the ability to have your own uh, rights, to make your own choices, decisions, and way of life. This guy is so diplomatic. <laughs> all right, vicinity. Uh, vicinity, uh, p -p -p I'll say vicinity, hmm, so if I say something is in the vicinity, so it's something I'm trying to look forward to or something I hope I could uh, reach out maybe at a certain point, but it's somewhere like a little bit far away. Something is in the, is it something is in the vicinity or something is around a certain point where you are. If something is in Amazing. the vicinity around yeah, you. Yeah, we'll take the latter. Yeah. And um, I know I said words, but we may have to define a name, Nengi. Uh, Nengi, strong, uh, intelligent, steady head on the shoulders, smart. Friendship? Uh, friendship, um, everything. Friendship is love, kindness, loyalty, trust. That's ambiguous, so I could give you friendship is relatable. Yeah, no, no, you it's, can define it whichever really, really way huge. you want. Yeah. All right. All right, so thank you for playing that game with us. It was amazing. Thank you and, very much. Um, let's move on to your life. Family is everything. And we saw an emotional video of you and your mom when you reunited yeah. with your mom. What was yeah. that moment like for you? Now, you know, at that certain point, obviously my whole life, there are points where, uh, especially when I was at uni, I had to leave differently away from, from family and times when I've been around and I'm not like in the same place with them, I'm not at home. But at that point, you know, it's all the emotions where, and I understand it because for nine weeks she's been watching her son through a screen. And for me, I knew that she was watching. So it was really, really important for me and I was, that was one of the best moments of my life and continue would be. Finally, finally, Neil is trending. I don't, I'm sure you must have seen Twitter this morning, right? No, 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 I haven't. No. All right, so Neo is trending. Apparently, it was same washing V's underwear. Mm. And Nengi even got involved and was like, Ozo will never do that. And I remember mm. during your eviction, your interview with Ebuka, Ebuka asked you that, at what point did you start feeling that way for Nengi? And you said words like, you feel like she's a girl you can make sacrifices for. So mm. I want to know, washing her underwear, would that be part of the sacrifices you will be make, willing to make if mm. you eventually get together with mm. Nengi? Uh, it's just like if I give you a, a plate of food to eat and I have a plate of food to eat, we eat differently. Mm. We all show signs of affection differently. So mm. if that's Neo's way, then that's his way. You know. Well, I want to know, so, would that be your way if it ever happens? Uh, you, you watch me in the house, did that happen? You mm. know, everyone, people are all different, you know? Right. People, people would do things differently. So 
I'm never, I wouldn't be one to castigate Neo, you know. But you'll never but, be found washing an underwear either, right? Listen, did you see me doing that? At the end of the day, it's who you are, you are in life. Nangi said it that Ozo would never do this. So she, she said she knows, it. So if that's, that's her point of view, she's my friend, so she knows me uh, to a certain point. All so right. we'll take her opinion, because uh, that's what she said, you know. All right, it's we'll been amazing it having it this chat with you, Ozo. It's thank you very really much. Amazing. And then to wrap, thank you for watching. Remember, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa for more content. My thank you will always go to my guest, Ozo. Thank you. And the entire production team, have a wonderful weekend. I am Ifeo Lua Oshin. Okay.